Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I know talk shows usually have more than one person in them. Uh, these are our mini episodes until our new set's finished. So with that being said, let's hit the headlines. There's a very interesting new drone in Japan that might turn heads if it ever takes flight over Tokyo. RHOM Semiconductor and its subsidiary Lapis Semiconductor unveiled the Orizuru, a drone made to look like a huge paper crane just like you made when you were really into origami when you were 12 years old. The Orizuru has a remote control and it replicates the motion of an actual bird in flight as it sails through the air. It's got a 3D printed skeleton made of nylon filament and it runs on the Lazarite Fly microcomputer. Now, designing the Orizuru took about three months and RHOM hopes to use it as a lure to work with venture companies and startups. Sadly, you won't be able to buy the Orizuru at your local hobby shop since RHOM doesn't plan on taking this design retail. So for now, I guess you'll have to just hope that they release the design open source and then you can build it yourself. All right, moving from drones over to personal transport, the company Ninebot, based in China, bought Segway earlier this year, and now they're unveiling the very first of their products since the acquisition. This is the Ninebot Mini, a much more compact version of a Segway intended for more discreet personal transport. It's kind of reminiscent of any one of the electric transport options we've been seeing pop up lately, but it's got a major advantage over its competitors, price. Most current options easily cross the $1,000 mark to buy, but the Ninebot Mini's price clocks in at the equivalent of $315 US dollars. If you want to get your hands on a Ninebot Mini as soon as they drop, well, you're going to have to go to China next month since that's the only place it'll be available for now. But there are plans for a European release soon enough, and if all goes well there, I'm sure a United States release cannot be far behind. Fingers crossed. Okay, so now moving from really cool personal transports to robots, our favorite topic on Tomorrow Daily. Let's check out these cute little robots that are teaching kids to code. Ex-Google employee Vikas Gupta has a daughter, and he got to thinking about how he could teach her to code. So he founded a company called Wonder Workshop, and it has one singular goal, making coding fun and easy. And he's using robots to help achieve that end. Now, Dash and Dot are friendly-looking robots that kids can program with the use of a companion touchscreen app. So kids will drag and drop code modules to choose how the robots move and play. And the app sort of guides the user through the programming process. Now, there's Dot, which is the single orb, and Dot costs $50 and has a little bit of a simpler range of abilities and can't move. While Dash, on the other hand, costs $150, but has wheels for movement programming. Since most kids here in the U.S. don't start learning coding until high school, and even then, it's an elective and not required, Wonder Workshop seems like it offers a really great way for kids to get into coding as early as six years old. Which is pretty cool, so nice work, Wonder Workshop. Okay, guys, that's it for our headlines. It's Monday, let's talk about crowdfunding. Well, we talk about robotic arms a lot here on Tomorrow Daily, and now Maker Arm is going to let you buy a robotic arm of your very own. Maker Arm is a three-axis robotic arm that can perform a variety of tasks, including fabricating, assembling, both resin and filament, 3D printing, milling, soldering, and even painting. Think of it as a really, really futuristic Swiss Army knife. I mean, it even decorates cakes for crying out loud. Look at this thing. There are also plans for third-party app support and custom scripts in the future, and a browser-based control system lets you pull up your controls for your Maker Arm on just about any device as long as the browser is supported. So smartphones, tablets, PCs, you name it. As long as you've got a browser that supports it, you're good to go. Obviously you want one, right? Yes, well, so do I. But you're going to have to shell out $1,400 for one on Kickstarter, and it includes one tool head of your choice. Now, they want $350,000, they've got just under $200,000, and there are 22 days left in the campaign. So we've got 22 days to find a whole lot of change in our couches. Start looking. All right, guys, let's talk about our phone dog for the day. Our phone photographer for the day today is Kinshuk, who took this delightful picture with his iPhone 5C. And he wrote to us and said, Hi, my name is Kinshuk and I live in Amsterdam. I took this photo while I was on vacation in Turkey. I took it with an iPhone 5C, my first smartphone! Exclamation, 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 so many exclamation points, you guys. 
Kensha, congratulations on your very first smartphone. Welcome to the future. We hope you're enjoying it. Uh, there's so many apps that you'll be able to use on your iPhone 5C to take even better pictures. I hope you start discovering those. But regardless of apps, this is an amazing picture, and I totally dig it, and I thank you for sending it to the show. If you want to be considered for our Phone Talker for the Day segment, send us your picture to tomorrow at CNET.com. Make sure you include permission for us to use it on the show, your name, your beautiful photo, of course, and a story about it if you have one. And also, make sure you tell us what device you took it on, because we love to know what phones you took your pictures with. All right, guys, uh, that is it for the show. If you want to find us on social media, we're at Tomorrow Daily on a bunch of social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. I'm at Ashley Eskev on Twitter. Producer Logan's at Logan Moy. And that is it for the show, guys. Share it, tomorrowdaily.com. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of weird, wonderful science fact, meaning science fiction. But until then, be good humans. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>